Sziasztok! Let's make a junk journal from a paper bag. Welcome, it's Viola from the Viola Aquarius Journals from Passau, Bavaria. As you see, I have collected some paper bags over the past months. These are uh, different shapes and sizes. This is from the Christmas market. Some I made from old newspapers. This I got from a small shop, a small bookshop. It is just colored with copy, so copy dyed. And the others are as well made from different papers. This is from the DM. I have some plain ones and some polka dotted ones. Uh, actually, it was a um, present bag. Yes, this is a present bag. I got it. I got something from Christmas and uh, I decided to make a junk journal from these all kind of paper bags. And uh, the cover is going to be this bigger one. So I decided to decor a bit, decorate it a bit and paint with some acryl paints. And I'm going to take you with me in this journey. So let's make this junk journal. our cover page and it's a little bit smaller like an A4 paper let me just see it yes it's it's gonna be okay but we need some space for the papers actually so I have to cut out the bottom the base of the paper bag because I need some space for the signatures and if I am opening this side of the bag I would be able to get some more space now it is open the only thing I have to do is uh, I have to glue them down and now I get a little bit more space for my spine as you can see on the left so if I'm going to have a four size of the signatures it's gonna be really easy place at the spines to maybe collect or uh, sew in six or five signatures let's just glue them together and then decorate it of course we don't need the handles so i'm going to cut them off Okay, it's done, and now the long sides. I'm going to sew around the edges 
Of course, you don't have to do it if you don't want or if you don't have a sewing machine. But uh, I just feel something missing if I am not sewing them down. And don't forget to hydrate. Okay. To get rid of this writing in the middle of my paper bag, I decided to paint it with just some simple acrylic white paint. Of course you can color them with some um, bright colors. I am using my sprays which I also use for coffee dyeing and as you can see this was my spray for the blue ink and uh, I have some pink sprays as well and some coffee spray maybe I'm going to use them as well this is the pink one so just some simple sprays and then you're gonna get rid of this boring white paint oh and let me just show you my tiny cat this is the brush holder isn't it cute Our cover is dried. I waited a few minutes and it's time to decorate it. I decided to use a green ink and uh, you can see that it's going to be mixed with my white acrylic paint which uh, was left over and I think it's gonna be a nice fresh color for this journal cover. Of course, it was not going to be me without any stitches. So I sewn around the lines, the edges uh, of this cover and I made just some random lines and waves, which actually turned out to be really nice in my opinion on the other side i just uh, glued some tesa tape masking tape into the spine and i did it with just a simple tape which we are using when we are painting our walls and you can see it's gonna be a little bit stronger and i glued this down before I was sewing my weaving line, so it turned out to be uh, really cute. In my next video, we are going to decorate this journal cover. I hope you're gonna join me in the second part as well. And that is for now. And I am wishing you a nice afternoon. See you in the second part. Bye-bye.